Hey Dad, I have a flat tire. What do I do? That's a good question, son. Let's talk about the safety, equipment, and procedure for changing a tire. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Dad. And I had a teachable moment this week. It happens every so often. When you get a, a flat tire yourself with family in the car or you have a family member that calls you with a flat tire. And what do we do? Well, not everybody's born knowing what to do with a flat tire. So at some point in our life, we learn how to change a tire or what to do with that. So I got a call this week for my son who said, uh, hey dad, I'm stranded, I got a flat tire, what do I do? I was a few minutes away from him, so I drove on over and was able to help him out. A um, Couple, three things let's talk about for what happens when you're in a situation with a flat tire. Let's talk about the safety and the equipment and the process involved in changing the tire. First thing I wanna talk about is safety. Changing a tire could be a uh, a safety risk it depends on where you're at sometimes you don't have a choice about where you're changing a tire uh, fortunately for us we were on a, a gas station on level ground in the daylight on a sunny day that's about the best possible condition you can get for changing a tire um, many times i've been on the side of the road in inclement weather on an incline on gravel on a shoulder trying to change a tire can get slippery and that jack can get slippery that car is a little dangerous when it's up on the jack so always be aware of the safety conditions if you're on the side of the road is there traffic coming around you is there um, slippery situations that might be involved in the jack um, are you awake and alert and prepared to do the task at hand safety is always a primary consideration so the first thing I did when I rolled up to the scene with my son is to kind of assess the situation. What do we have with a flat tire? Do we have a blowout? Do we have just flat? Uh, did the air just go out of it or do we have a hole in the tire? So uh, I happen to have in my car a, a portable inflator. I carry one of those, it cost me about 20 bucks. It was a Christmas gift to myself last year. To have a portable inflator in my car so I could respond to these kind of challenges for my kids. And uh, that was helpful. So the first thing I did was uh, go to the affected flat tire, and boy, was it flat, and hook up the tire inflator onto the tire uh, fill nozzle. So as I plugged that into the cigarette lighter, we powered it on and tried to inflate the tire, that number stayed at zero. That tire did not inflate. That tells me we got a serious leak in that tire. A blowout, serious leak, that tire was not gonna reinflate itself. So what are our options? As we were uh, sitting there at the gas station, I'm thinking through, uh, if the tire won't inflate, we had about uh, two more. If the tire would have inflated, we would have had a couple options to drive it to a tire repair center or to get it home and work safely at home. But that, that option was taken off the table when that tire wouldn't inflate. What two options did that leave? One was to get it towed to a tire repair center, uh, whether that was through an emergency service like AAA or whether I arranged that for myself. I try to carry AAA um, protection so that when I'm at a roadside hazard for me or my family, we can uh, call them if needed and get a tow to somewhere or get help with the tire. I've had AAA uh, 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 replace the tire for me uh, on the side of the road at times for my kids. And that's good coverage to carry. That's worth the money to have in your pocket, that AAA card or something corresponding to that. So what were my options? To get the car towed somewhere to work on it or could we work on it ourselves? First question I asked him, do you have a spare in your car? Uh, I know from, uh, he had a flat, maybe a month or two ago, we, uh, we had to jack that car up and replace the tire previously. So I knew he had a spare in his car. So let's get the spare out of the car. He has a spare donut in the car. When I was growing up, cars had full-size spares. Now they have a donut, a little small 
tire in there if you're lucky. Sometimes the new cars just have an inflator kit and that's all. Wouldn't do any good in this situation with a hole bone in that tire that wasn't going to inflate. So fortunately we had a donut tire in the car. Uh, my son's question was, Dad, uh, how, how much is a donut worth on the car? How far can you go on a donut? Different people are going to have different answers for you and I don't know that I'm wise enough to answer that question. And I told him a donut's intended to be a spare to get you to safety, to get you to a place where you can change that tire out for a regular sized tire. It's not to, meant to be left on the car and driven very often. It's not meant to be driven at high speed. So let's get the donut on the car. Let's get you to a tire repair center and replace that tire. Don't drive at high speed while we're doing it. So that answered that question for him. Uh, that brought us to equipment. So what do we need to do to put that donut on the car? Inside your car, you're gonna find perhaps some type of a tire uh, replacement kit. He happened to have uh, in a little foam insert. He he had a, uh, with his donut, he had a, uh, a jack, he had a lug nut wrench, and he had another little wrench that helped us to, to turn the jack up and down so that we could jack that car up. So, I gave him a few pointers that you're only going to learn when you've changed the tire a few times. Pointer number one, loosen those lug nuts while the car is still sitting on the ground. You got some torque with the car sitting on the ground you can apply some torque to those lug nuts to loosen them you have had five lug nuts you can torque and loosen those lug nuts better if the car is still sitting on the ground and that tire is not moving then once you lift it up in the air and that tire can spin you lose all your torque tip number one loosen those lug nuts while the car is sitting on the ground after we did that and that took some doing those lug nuts didn't want to come off but we loosened them up a little bit, get them going. Second tip, place the jack where it's supposed to go. There's a little picture on the jack that told us where on the car, in the front and the back, it's, it can go safely. Um, sometimes I put that jack in the wrong place and it's a little slippery or it wants to move. But look at the pictures, look at the instructions, figure out where that jack's gonna go. Happen to have a little fork in it that you put up on a slot on his car. We placed the jack in the right place and spun it up a little bit. Now, once you got the car in the air, you can fully put that lug nut wrench on the lugs and you can spin it all the way around. If you try to do that while the car is still sitting on the ground, you're going to hit the ground. You're going to get a quarter or a half revolution, you're going to hit the ground, hit the ground, hit the ground. You're going to have to keep doing that. If you do it once the car is already up in the air a little ways, you can spin that lug nut all the way off. Left loose, right tight. Counterclockwise, get those lug nuts off. Took all five of those lug nuts off, pulled the old tire off. Roll it out of the way. Bring in the donut, put the donut on the lugs. Uh, there's a concave, kind of a concave side and then a shallow side on the outside. Put that deep concave side on the inside The outside is the, is the, is the con, convex part on the outside. Make sure you got the tire oriented in the right direction. Put that deep concave side over that disc uh, brake in the back, over that rotor. All those things are important to do it in the process in the right order. Put that, put that tire on the lugs. Uh, now we can uh, finger tight those lug nuts back on the lugs a little bit all five of them get those back on finger tight now you can take the lug wrench one at a time spin those lugs all the way around again clockwise tight right get those lug nuts tight hand tight uh, best you can all five of those while the car is still in the air now you got the tire on with the lugs hand tight now you can drop the jack back down Take your, uh, take your jack handle, spin that jack back down, and lower the car back on the ground. Now it's sitting on the, on the donut tire. Now it's ready to go. Last step for the tire, 
is to tighten those lug nuts again once the tire is sitting on the ground. Now you've got torque again with the tire sitting on the ground. Now you can spin those lug nuts tight with that lug wrench. Hand tight, get them tight. You don't want that tire coming off when you drive away. Uh, get that, I've had that happen to me once in my life where I didn't tighten those all the way. Uh, that, that's a memory that will last with you. Don't do that. Tighten those lug nuts once it's back on the ground. Now you can get them really tight. Uh, pull that jack out of there. Now we reassembled his kit with the jack back in the plastic insert and the lug wrench and the jack handle back in that uh, plastic insert, back in the trunk with the bad tire. What are we gonna do next? We're gonna take that tire to a tire repair center. Happened to be a puncture right in the center of the tread of the tire, not on the sidewall. Maybe it's repairable. Maybe they can uh, do a quick repair on that tire uh, where it was punctured in there. This tire happens to have low, low tread and it's probably time to replace that tire anyway. But we got a couple options. Maybe it's repairable, maybe that'll get us a little ways. So now I have his a bad tire off the car in my car. I'm gonna take it to the repair center. We're gonna look at some options. But that got him underway again in maybe a half an hour. A little sweat, a little sweat equity we call it. And uh, we, got that, we got that car moving again for him. So now he's not stranded anymore uh, with his passengers in the car. Um, it's, it's frustrating, it's never fun when you have to change a tire, but Again, that was the best possible situation where we were um, on level ground, in the daylight, good weather, best possible condition, teachable moment, we got that done. Now he's got a, a lesson, he'll remember. He did most of the work, I did the teaching, and we got her done. So, uh, think about those teachable moments. We're not born knowing how to do this. Somebody taught us. Uh, be the teacher or be the student. Life lessons come along, take advantage of them, learn, laugh a little bit, it happens. It costs money, it's frustrating, it's gonna happen. Learn how to do it, get her done. Uh, this is Dad, and I'll see you the next time. And uh, thank you for watching my channel. Uh, subscribe if you like the content, hit like if you like this video, and um, Got some reaction videos coming up. I'm still learning the technology to do reaction videos, but we're gonna have more content coming up. Uh, thank you for being a viewer, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you, stand out.